from Sudbury Wolves of the Ontario Hockey League, Quinton Byfield. This should have been a great week for the NHL. Quinton Byfield was drafted higher than any black player ever, but the diversity celebration didn't last long. We believe the time for listening and learning has um, come, come and gone. We is the Hockey Diversity Alliance, a group of current and retired black NHL players formed after the death of George Floyd. Its goal, make a traditionally white sport more diverse from the grassroots through to the NHL. It asked the league to be a partner and commit to a pledge that included hard targets around minority hiring and employment. We just feel like not enough um, was getting done and essentially the league came back saying that they weren't ready to commit to any, th any numbers. Aliyu says the league prioritized PR efforts over actual change. Until we can get some hard numbers, I think just talking in circles is just a waste of everyone's time. Racism has been embedded in our society for far too long. The NHL has struggled to find its footing on issues of race and discrimination. On a night when most sports leagues paused to protest the police shooting of Jacob Blake, the NHL played on. As minorities in the NHL, we've been undervalued and we've been overlooked. For some, the HGA's decision was reflective of the NHL's lack of meaningful engagement. You've got the NHL, predominantly white decision makers, leaving all the work, all the toil up to racialized BIPOC community. It's unacceptable. Ahmed wonders why NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman hasn't taken a more central role on this issue. I don't know if it's an unwillingness, but I think they're completely unprepared for these conversations. The NHL hasn't commented publicly on the HGA decision. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.